fun times. Whee! Traffic's backed way to fuck up out here. Jesus. Around the Sussel, there's something going on in town. I don't know what. I know one of the street signs said, uh, heavy. Expect heavy traffic, lots of events happening this weekend. I was like, oh, okay. Lots of events, heavy traffic, plan different routes, is what it said. A <laughs> weekend of. 62724. I was like, oh, okay. Luckily, I only have to go through here to head south to my load site. Then I can head up to New York going a whole different route. Usually, going through Atlanta is pretty smooth. Getting up to the 285 point, that's a fucking, that near two hours from Atlanta. Once you get under 285, and if you're staying on 75 South, it's usually pretty clean through the city. Then you just gotta worry about the 85 interchange, then you're good to go again, and then uh, you'll hit 285 on the South side. It's usually alright, it's just traffic coming back in, not leaving. But, yeah. A lot smoother than taking 285 around when you don't have to. 285 is always a fucking backup. Just to get off on 285 is a nightmare. Like, nope, I'ma just keep a flowing with traffic. I'm not gonna stop. Unless I have to take 285 to go up and around to 400 or something, then I'll take it. But usually I'll cheat on the north side of the city and take 92 or 20 across to 400 and then do what I have to from there. But. Eh, 92's got a lot of stoplights. 20 doesn't really have any, but enough to annoy you. Definitely nowhere near as much as 92, but we'll get that. Coach Bus, Albany State University. I think it's New York's. Well, why are they doing it? Albany, New York. I think that was where Albany University would be from, but you never know when you have private colleges in different states naming themselves after cities in other states. Yeah, round, round, round we go. Travel time to I-285, four to six minutes. Yeah, that's not bad. That's average, or what it should be anyways. <laughs> and no, I'm not like tired, I'm just bored. I don't know, I yawn a lot when I shouldn't. I'm just relaxed, I'm chilling, I'm doing my thing. And I got air conditioning turned on, that's usually never a good thing. I bet you moan about not having it in my normal truck, but that's because I'm sleeping in the sleeper at night or on my weekend resets, and that truck just sucks in all the heat. You get no fucking break from it, or like if I got to shovel a trailer full of cotton seed or something again, you get no break from it. It's just it's a nightmare. That's why I nicknamed that truck nightmare. Nobody's figured it out yet. The fact that there's no air conditioning, the fact that it's got so many damn problems. Most of them are engine related, and that's because Packard motors are absolute dog shit. Kind of open the boss will get a new Caterpillar truck on the farm here soon. Though it kind of makes sense to leave me in a lease truck. Just for the fact of 